Hello and welcome to what hopes to be a really intriguing match here in Group C of the AFC Champions League as Air Force FC lock horns once again with Al Itihad. The reverse of the game from just two weeks ago here in the Franco Hariri Stadium in Erdville. Should be a cracking game, although changes have been made between these two sides as they go head to head once again here in Group C. The Air Force Club could do with something out of the game to put some pressure on the top of the tree, which is Al Ihtihad, who have only actually played two games. One game uh, was awarded to them, but uh, Sefahan is the side that are in between Air Force and Al Ihtihad. It was just the one goal that separated the two sides in the last meeting just two weeks ago when Abdurazak Hamdallah's strike in the fourth minute of the second half stoppage time settled the game between the two as you can see the sun is out the sky is blue let's hope there will be no clouds to spoil our view at the franco hariri stadium here and what is going to be a cracking match the atmosphere has been building here for quite some time inside the franco hariri stadium and you look at the history of these two clubs al itihad have won the AFC champions league both in 2004 and 2005 Air Force, while well, their best uh, victory in the continental world is 2016, 17 and 18 for the AFC Cup, but they are no mean side when it comes down to playing their games here. There have been, as I say, some changes between the two sides ahead of today's games. You know, Espirito Santo, manager of Al Hittihad, would uh, dearly like to put their qualification beyond doubt with a victory today. And they have a name that has caused a little bit of consternation in the crowd with some jeering when his name was read out prior to the game. In Karim Benzema is playing through the centre for Al Hittihad. Many of the Iraqi fans. Warmly greeting that with jeers and cheers. It's going to be a warm day. It's going to be a warm night. It's going to be a warm contest. Al Etihad's recent form has been somewhat patchy. 11 points behind Al Halal in the Saudi Pro League at the moment, but this is a different competition and a completely different animal altogether. The referee always makes the final decision and can be supported by the VAR. A real hubble and bubble around the Franco Hariri Stadium. Expectancy for the home club. For decisions that require an interpretation. Match day four of six. And the wick gets turned up and the heat gets a little bit hotter when looking for qualification. Two sides waiting for their introduction onto the field of play. And the pitch itself is looking a little bit worn in places, but whether it will be a leveller or whether it won't be, it will be the same for both sides, that's for sure. The anthem of the AFC booms loudly around the Franco Hariri Stadium. Football is growing. Multi-billion pound competition around the world and a sport that provides many talking points and common ground two sides greeted by a ticker tape welcome really really lovely sight Awaiting the two sides. What a beautiful shot that is. Air 
Air Force in their all royal blue kit. Anyway, strip for Al Itihad. in there, Uman Tarek. As the player goes through there, customary preliminaries greeting each other before the action starts. Very, very interesting game before. It was a case of Air Force holding on but couldn't quite many a picture there, Karim Benzema, the former Real Madrid striker, throws a different proposition for a back three today. For the home side. You see underfoot there the pitch. Suffering the effects of what a bit of heat in Iraq. We get ready for the lineups. As I say, plenty of changes for both sides. Players missing from the home side. This time, are, uh, fairly notable ones, but they are changing their forward. Mohanad Abdul Rahim is the man that's been tasked to lead the line in the formation which we believe is going to be sort of pretty much a 3-5-2 as our referees today and uh, just to go through those for you the referee today is Ahmad Abu Bakr Al Kaf. he's from Oman he's assisted by two from people from Oman as well Abba Bakr Al Amri and Rashid Hamid Ali Al Gaif fourth official today is uh, Salman Ahmad Falahi. And that's the name. This is where Nuno you know, Espirito Santo has got uh, a sprinkling of stardust from the European leagues. Angolo Kante, Karim Banzima. He'll be looking for his side to make the leap onto 12 points at the end of four games. much of a bench for Al Etihad either, so they won't want to see too many players limping or running around with impact injuries, that's for sure. Would you be on the cynical side of cynical? I say to your side, they are short benched. Kofi is to take the kick off. You can just feel the little delay ramping up the anticipation even further. Down on this near side, Ruslan Hanoun goes long. Should be an easy run across here. For Omar just to track his man out, gets a toe in. Well, that's an interesting start there. Faisal Al Gandhi putting the first corner away inside the first minute. Not too much danger, in fairness, at that point, but. Uh, Al Mayufu will be looking out to his left hand side for this corner. He just seemed to deliver. Very deep and dying with the head up, but wild wide. Got 
nice head to it, peeled off the back. What their show. Been impressed with that first minute. Well, it's he had the side whose form's been a little in and out. Obviously, was set by injuries, Nuno Spirito Santo's side. But Marinho wins the repetter. And Dai is 4 4. Held up nicely on this near side by Bayesh. And yeah, turned back. Shot to the keeper Hamid. Side in the middle of the park. Kadesh lifts it long. Again, it's rather aimless somewhat there from the Al oh, he had right back. Spirito Santo. Goalkeeping coach. Uh, two few times in English football with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Portuguese man brought a lot of Portuguese players in and had a very good time down at Molyneux. That's went inside by Machan. Hamoud Machan just beat it out to Hanoon. And short, Uman Tariq. Dai. It's a bit of a misplaced ball there. On this near side for Mamasu just to tidy it up. Angola Kante gets it through. Benzema will not see the ball. Excellent work by Kuman Tarek. And ultimately, Hamoud plays it back to the keeper, Hamid. Trying to go long on this near side, and uh, Bayesh trying to get inside his man, but uh, good work ultimately down on this near side. Cross comes in though. It he had just been a little bit of the pressure early on in this game. Masu <laughs> just slipped on trying to clear the ball. Really did allow Bayesh to dispossess him with a rather deep crossing. See on the turf at the moment, it's fairly soft, it looked quite dry and patchy at the top, but they've obviously watered well. A bit of work we can give and go on the far side. Chance here for Al Jassim. That's a good inside, but ultimately it's going to be easy for Omar to play it back out to Al Olia. Last in the centre really gave Harun Kamara absolutely no chance whatsoever to control it. A little bit uh, bitty, one would say, from Al Itihad at the moment. Marshan, oh, that's a lovely flick, real break on this near side. Didn't quite get round his player though, Mustafa Sardoun. Great at the moment that. Settling down very well under the pressure from the home side. Thumb long by Hamu Mashan. Only just seen beaten in the air, but there'll be a throw on the far side to Air Force. Sued, but it's uh, easily cut out. Chance again for the home side. That's a really impressive pass inside. Threaded the eye of a needle there somewhat. Equally, that wasn't such a good pass the other way. Gurlo Conte gives the ball away this time to Human Tarek. Well, Justine waits on that far touchline, gets it, but they're going to set again. Going all the way back this time to Ruslan Hanun. Bakare 
might you say the home side very much settling down on Dai with the long ball. Trying to run on this near side, but uh, not well defended in fairness at all. Good bit of work going inside this time. Real chance now, can they get the ball into the box? No. Good block coming across ultimately by Kadesh. This is uh, turning into uh, a very awkward opening here for the Saudi Arabian side and the Iranian the Iraqi fans, I should say, apologies there. Very quick to uh, raise the noise levels inside the Franco Herrera Stadium. Just, just a little let down now. Ali just him looks as though he was fainting to go on to his boot, but uh, if anything, head coach be hoping for his side just to calm down a little bit on the ball they want to be on the front foot air force but they also need to make sure that they uh, have some composure on the football as well it's building again Omar blocking this one shot hits the base of the post there oh my youth was beaten Ali Yassim. You're looking at the body language. He looked that ball out by the keeper, Al Mayouf. And Ali Yassim got it in there. And it's the base of the post, but on the outside. Well, you can make a case for nervous tension inside the bodies of the Al Ittihad side. And they are, at the moment, looking very jittery. Marinho trying to get the ball down. Golo Kante was in support, but it's going to go back to Al Olia. Well, he had to have a proud history. As I say, a long way at the moment off the top of the table behind Al Hilal struggling with uh, in different form but they've opened this group C match very very nervously Again, first touch is just taken off but... no. just a few too many errors you know Spirito Santo side will be looking to try and put their foot on the football it may be indicative of their injury crisis with the size of their bench but uh, ultimately they would like to have settled a wee bit better than they have and I couldn't keep that one in play and in your picture there Ayo Bodesho I'll be very happy as I say just wants to be a bit more precious with the football when they do get it but Marinho trying to run in behind good defensive work by Andai I'm sure if he's got the free kick there on the far side but uh, Nuno Spirito Santo there may well be tugging at the strands of his chin because uh, his side of, might have the likes of N'Golo Kante and they might have the likes of Karim Benzema a few of them at the moment are looking as though they really don't want the football at all very much like a hot potato Olian went over the throw. And it's a case of can Air Force profit from this nervous start from Al Etihad. Angulo Conte gets it down. Good toe in by Kuman Tarek. Just a little bit of time and thought on that second ball might have seen a bit more pressure on the Al Etihad rear guard. Near side. Farmer suit. Tries to turn inside, but again coming across. Ibrahim Bayesh was very quick to close him down. It's very much a front foot performance so far from the Iraqi side. They support Angelo 
County just tries to. Interesting. I saw a lot of N'Golo Kante for both Chelsea and Leicester City. Obviously, when they won in 2016, N'Golo Kante was such a pivotal role, very much box to box and very much a person that worked hard with the football. But he's given it away a couple of times already in the first few moments of this game. And we're only in the 12th minute. Ali Jassim taken off his toes there by Ali Olia. Jota, it's a spin. Masood. Speaking hard for themselves at the moment, Al Etihad. Just don't look comfortable in playing the football. They've got away again from a tight area there, from a toe just coming in. Bamasud's quite correct. That should have gone the other way. But um, you do well is just to get yourself back in position. And just get on with the game. Those little alarming signs in body language and just thinking all of a sudden that the world could be against you. Just touch in the middle. It's all a little bit frantic. Benzema, Benzema driving forward now. Slips it on. Jota didn't quite take it in his stride, as you can see, and ended up in a little bit of a heap on the floor. To uh, ground in England recently, Norwich City's football ground, and was just wandering around as you do, having a little look around. I went into the home changing room, which was beautiful, and I went into the away changing room, which was absolutely painted grey and black. Beaters didn't work, and uh, obviously remarked and was told that the home manager wanted it to be as unsavoury and as unpleasant as <laughs> possible for the away time to waiting to come to and you do wonder at the moment whether Al Etihad have turned up at the Franco Hariri Stadium and I'm feeling as though everything every force not just Air Force everything is against them seem to be more concerned about the quality of the pitch the quality of the passing and they've got to get their mindset right if they're to compete into this game because they could just could just be not well and truly out of their stride Coming here off the back of some indifferent form won't make it any easier. Near side again, chance for the overlapping run. Covering this time by Bamasu. Top surface of this pitch just kicking up, making it a little bit bobbly. It's the same for both sides, but uh, again, it's a mindset thing. People just get on with it, make an extra touch, look at what they're doing. Some will be blaming that as well. It's a strange ball, it felt heavy, the shirts were too itchy. Everything can go against the side sometime, and at the moment, El Hittihad are looking for something instead of making something happen. Just in your humble commentator's opinion here, where Air Force just seem to be enjoying the lion's share of possession, as they would do for the home side. And they're also just dominating things. They've just got to be a little more conservative and concise with their passing. Uman Tarek. I think Al Jassim goes down the line. Can't be found, though. And the ball is turned over for want of a rugby union phrase very, very quickly. Ali Al Jazeem inside picks out a nice pass this time. Options on this near side. Good work this time for Mustafa Sadun. Gets it back. Just working their angles quite nicely. Giving it away in the final third, they're going to need to be a little bit more precious with the football. Charge on here. What a big difference there in uh, size between Ruslan Hanun 
Well, the man that was chasing him down. Well, there seems to be something that's uh, still the crowd up on the far side of the pitch. This time, Human Tarek goes down. Just a little bit of strength there from Harun Kamara. See there in that wonderful slow mo. Top surface just being taken up by the studs. Kuman Tarek, Ali Jassim, good feet in the end, run into the strong figure of Omar. Comes out, shot goes in from distance, whistle had gone. Good finish, by the way, but I believe that Almayouf heard whistle a long way out from that one. Strength there shown by Omar Horsawi. And in the end, the covering challenge by Alolian just uh, drew the foul. Well, they're dropping into commentators' cliches dictionary here. The first goal really is going to have a, a significant bearing on the outcome of this match. The header of back by Kadesh, but uh, Almayuk will have to come out and deal with it. Kadesh gets it back. It's a ball to nothing and it's given away. Nice bit of skill by Bayesh here. But, uh, has it ultimately taken off his toes by Jota? Oh, Lian and Golo Conte. Kamara has got inside Benzema. Well, that's a very cool bit of play by Mahmoud Marshan. Is in a soups on there. Lovely play by Hamu Marshan, and then the pass out into the midfield area gives away possession, and that's that's the one thing that Ayub Odesho will be asking his side to do a little bit better. Everything else is quite nice. They'll be giving it back there very easily by Al Itihad. Just want his side to do that last bit a little bit better. It's almost like there's a rush of blood, a little bit of red mist when they go into the final third and just hurry a pass far too often. Algamdi. Obama suit. I wish to be picky, but I really didn't see that pass ever getting there. Oh, Mashan getting it back to Hamidou. Put some distance on it. See the slip there on the far side by Olian as he tried to clear that. Been in the war so far. Remember a famous manager back in the day. And I'm going a long way back into the past now. Brian Clough used to water his pitch at Derby County to such a degree that it became almost unplayable except for down the flanks where he knew his wingers could do the most damage. All the ploys that have been uh, employed and tactics by different managers, but at the moment it is... Uh, both sides giving the ball away. Chelsea of Ujota. Jota in on his right foot. Buys it low. That's a good save ultimately by Hamid. And then completely out of nowhere. Mohamed Hamid is down to his right hand side to put it round the post. Jota just found a bit of space. And that was a difficult one for Mohamed Hamid because that's bounced right in front of him. It's good eyes, good watching. It's the danger that the you know, he had players have is that they do have the possibility of proven match winners in their ranks. It's the first corner here for Al Itihad. We're into the 21st minute. It's going to be Jota to take. The 
just making sure everything's okay inside. Header away. All of blue comes out, clears their lines. Amasud will go all the way back to Al Mayouf. Go to Conte. It's a little bit of help and a give and go. He needs a way on this near side. Breaking foot. Oh, surely upended there. And indeed, the referee's right on the spot. Mustafa Sadun was the man that just had a little nibble. More than a little nibble in fairness in slow motion. Fair old chunk of a bite, I would say. It would turn a little nibble to a, an actual mouthful of boot. Defensive midfielder there. Mustafa Sardun Alfoji. Crowd there. Uh, a little bit tensive in places. It's been a bright opening for the home side, but nothing to show for it. And that one in your picture is always going to be a threat. Round the back, Benzema. Great save by Hamid. I'm going to be fairly honest with everybody out there now. How did a man who you might have heard of in world football called Karim Benzema end up getting onto the end of a free kick almost on his own with no markers with him? That would be something I would be asking my back line presently. And Golo Conte gets the ball back, but it has been uh, awarded as a foul. But that was a little bit of a worry if I am indeed. Ayub Odesho. Karim Benzema is noted for scoring the odd goal or two in his career. And you've just given him almost the freedom of the 18-yard box. Omar heads it down, coming across the cover. Bamasud heads it forward. Turned on by Jota. And Dai with the skillful acrobatic clearance. Ali Jassim really didn't look as though he fancied that in one iota with a bouncing ball, but it's going to be easy for Ruslan Hanun to see it back to Mohamed Hamid. To that sort of middle third of the first half, where the opening exchanges are now going to make way to a, a more pattern of play you fancy you'll see throughout the game. The ball that's given away. I move my shan. Not finding his man. It's good work there by Kamara. Marinho. Coffee saying, you know, I need some angles to play the ball here, but he was uh, ultimately undone by two. And it was uh, I think Kamara that had a little bit too much stud action to the shin pad. Out on his near side to Sardun, who gets the cross in. Maybe could have arrived a little bit quicker onto the scene. He takes the throw very quickly. Abdul Amir Kofi Sardun Daesh. Except the throw down there. That sort of ambient feeling in the crowd now. What is going to happen next? Sardoun with a deep cross in. That's over the top of the keeper who uh, made it look a little bit more exciting than it actually was. Ducked out of it in the end and it's run away for a goal kick. The expectation levels now. It's always that little enigma, that little puzzle as to who's going to make who come to the party. Will the fans be the ones that 
bring the players to their toes to the fore to drive them forward or will it be the players that pick up the fans from their seats and drive on Kamala and Ram Tarek then just exchanging pleasantries obviously a little bit of a chat between them Joining in here, and doing Kamara. Seems the ball cleared away on the far side by Ruslan Hanoun. It's the spectacle is now growing to who's going to take this game by the bootstraps and, and drag it up into the contest that uh, it is. It's a very, very chess match like contest at the moment oh, no, I was say I'm surprised at who Mantarik has got away with that it's uh, a little bit uncomfortable I'm not sure there wasn't a slip before that actually that made the whole body entanglement a, a wee bit more severe than it actually was but uh, what it is is a free kick to uh, Etihad around the Air Force rear guard is aerially going to be a little bit of a bombardment you fancy deep hanging ball and Ash wins the first and the second header just a little bit of a nice ball out by Abdul Amir just yeah, wanted distance away from his own penalty area but some players have got to be very careful that they don't just give possession back. Both sides are maybe just guilty of, of being a little bit profligate with uh, keeping possession. Well, Tarek gets his body across the man there. Harun Kamaras looks at the light from with a. Are you sure? By the way, the flag is going the way of the home side, and therefore we'll have the throw. All goes forward, lofted long this time by Omar. And go to Conte, Jota. Up to the front, Romarino. Jota tries to play it through. Excellent defensive work here by Bakari Undai. Strolls through two. Towards the front man, and uh, that really was a spectacular appearance there by Kadesh. He's uh, elected with a no nonsense approach, one would feel, from your commentary point. Today, but uh, straight forward, Al Gamdi takes it up to Benzema. Benzema holding off Undai. Gets a free kick. And I, I know that there is um, a lot of money moving into the Saudi Pro League at the moment to try and invigorate it and pull it forward, but it's uh, standard wise, there's got to be question marks. A bit like the MLS when you when you drop a, a, a big name star into a certain area. Great break on this near side, real drive forward. Good work ultimately there. Mustafa runs into the wall that is Angolo Conte. Bayesh. Quite measure the pass well. With that transitional period when, when sides start to, to build very very difficult for, for players to play with players that aren't quite to the standard that they're used to and that, that can be very frustrating anyway Kofi 
by Esch. Trying to take on his uh, man on his near side, Barmasudi, just goes in with a challenge. Question is, and it's always been the, the question is, where do you start when you start to strengthen? There's always going to be this uh, debris. We've seen it in various leagues across the world where you bring in players of a fantastic standard and it's like Harry Kane playing with me on a football field in England. I'm really not Harry Kane's standard. No, actually, I don't think he's my standard. It works both ways, I suppose. Anyway, let's get back to the game. His goal is here between Air Force and Al Etihad. In save of the day, coming from Jota. Fired a shot in and Hamid saved, but it's been uh, Air Force that have looked the more dominant in possession. Decent work this time there. Lovely little cushioned header down Abdul Ramin. Goes for the return from Ali Jassim, but he doesn't get it. Spiroto Santo. You know, you almost fancy he wants half time now. We're 13 minutes away from it. Just uh, one twist too many on a difficult surface there for Ali Jassim. And go to Conte. Not known for his passing. And uh, ends up putting it straight onto the boot, the instep of Kofi. Which caused a wee bit of uh, concern back there. Jota surely fouled. No, referee's allowed that one to move on. Possession, I suppose, advantage played. Well, you can't say it's not very, very finely contested here. Some uh, reasonable challenges going in and fair challenges. Masood straight against Mustafa's legs. Abdul Rabin, Ali Jassim, Umam Tarek has to turn away. Momentum lost a little bit in this forward attack. The run's on now for Mohanid Abdul Rahim. Put pressure on Omar. He's done well to win the ball back. Tees it up to Ali Jassim. Infield to Kofi. Kofi with the first time shot. Down to his right. Al Mayouf saw it from a long way out. of my competitive career. You hear the word team spirit, you'll hear the word desire banded around in games of football. At the moment, the desire is coming from the home side. The team spirit seems to be a wee bit lacking in the Al Itihad side, but they've got a break on this near side with Jota. Jota looking for help. Romarino, Benzema. Kofi, right place at the right time, carries the ball forward. Kadesh. Kofi continues his run. Should be easy this time for Kadesh to deal with. Ndaye. Looking for, looking for signs, as anybody would be. I'm sure that if you're an Air Force fan or an Al Etihad fan, you're looking and thinking pretty much the same as your commentator is here. That's a nice turn. Ali Chassim, Abdul Arimim. Good work, stepped in ultimately there by Kadesh. Romarinho got opportunities there. Kamara and Benzema. Benzema tries to find Harun Kamara. Ultimately the man that deals with it. Ruslan Hanun gets it away. an Air Force fan watching this you're wanting maybe a little bit more in the final third and retaining possession a lot better because if they retain possession Al Etihad's wonder players can't get onto the football could block that time very impressed with the captain in fairness 
That's protestation, so to the linesman. I don't think you can see the flag go in the opposite direction there. Human Torek. And if you're an Al Etihad fan, you just want your side to settle down and believe in themselves, really. Al Olian. Benzema. Speed. Back to Al Olian. Tarek does well. Al Olian's still trying to dance. Still has it. The Air Force that have the opportunity to clear. And if you're doing well, well, Marino. So, my dad scores a house point. I'll be giving one to the captain, Uman Tarek, at the moment. I've just seen really with no assistance, and Golo Conte comes out with it. Be a bit of concern inside the Air Force fans. Scorchers uh, in there by Hanoon. I think it's safe to say that uh, Mantarek is uh, injured. There was no reason to put that ball out of play unless you were uh, feeling a little bit of a, a knock. Thing I can tell you is those as we watch that replay there is that uh, when you slip inadvertently with your studs giving way it puts a lot of stresses on ligaments and muscles that you're not expecting to have used in that particular action on the field of play and I think that is possibly by the look of that gone towards the uh, there's uh, the crease line between the top of the inner thigh and the abdominal structures, which are abductors and adductors that would have been overstretched. And uh, there's a little group of half a dozen muscles at work in the, in the opposite sort of effects. One drags away, one opens out, if that makes sense, and they're very easy to, to tweak and to cause a problem. those inadvertent slips when you plant your foot thinking that's where it's going to stay and then it slips away from you. Anyway, we're back in play, the biology lesson ends, it's still goalless between these two sides. And they've got a chance here, Ali Jassim, can he get it down? Just bounced away from him, laid the block there from Kadesh. Well, that's a dart from distance by Ibrahim Bayesh there. And if you are Nuno Spirito Santo, a goalkeeper Back in the day, he'll look across at Al Mayouf, his keeper, and say, well, I'll be happy all day long to see shots from 20, 24 yards. Look see him all the way. And it will take a special shot to beat my keeper from there, or himself, would he have been between the six years ago. Turning to putting it in the right place. Al Gamdi thought he was uh, Faisal there. Just uh, Faisal Al Gamdi, that's a push on the back there, being snapped on very quickly by the referee in terms of verbals. Now a break is on. Mohamed Abdul Rahim all on his own. Wall of white in front of him. Think so. Can they play it near sight? Bayesh, bit of space. Can he clip it in? Does so. Hits the back of the man in front of him. Bamasu lifts it in again. Big head away by Omar. Coming in at the back. Shot. Good save. Well, ultimately, the shot became really dangerous as it was driven into the turf on the far side. Made it a little bit harder and a little bit easier. All in one there for. The keeper just to help it up and over. Ali just seen with a shot. Just you can 
see there, it's, it's neither one or another, really. It's just gone into the turf, which means it bounced up, which means it's easier to push it up and over the bar, but then you've got to get up to the ballooning ball. Corner comes in. Abdur Armin. Inside. It's going to be drilled away by Bamasud. Ayesh. Conte comes to meet him. By Ash, this will be interesting to see. Um, 100% too sure what I saw from there. And arms against the body there. As it does strike, it's behind his back at the same time. So, a very, very harsh one. But him by Ash there. One of the things you be so careful with is that uh, it doesn't always look like the most intentional challenge but sometimes a finger can catch people in the eye or around the eye just a little flick and it, it could be quite perturbing for the person that gets it against him anyway the free kick's been given and it is going to be Ali Jassim to deliver it's a deep one headed back across the face of goal Omar heads away Jota to find Faisal, Jota again, Faisal's still down, sees the play unfold in front of him though. Good work there. Faisal trying to get down the touchline. That's the judge to have been the whole ball out. The man on this near touchline would have had a far better view than, than myself, sat a long way away from the action. Difficult little two-minute period of regulation time before the break here. No side will want to concede and change their whole game plan here. I think the happiest side will be the side from the Saudi Pro League, Al Itihad. They'll be quite happy to go in at the break goalless, simply because they need to have restored some faith in themselves. They've been very... They've lacked a little bit of self-belief, if your commentator can be so bold. Bayesh in now, coming forward, Omar with him, Bayesh, little overlap, Abdul Rahim comes back, oh, Jassim, it's in! And the whole complexion of the game completely and utterly changes, and literally summing up, keep it tight for two minutes, Al Hittihad will be so much happier to go into the break, goalless, and the commentator's curse apparently has just come out because Al Itihad have just completely let themselves down. And Ali Jassim tucks into the back of the net. And the forlorn figure there of Karim Benzema really suddenly comes out. It's a lovely flick there by Abdul Rahim. Bayesh waits for Abdul Rahim to go past him, pulls it back. Ali Jassim, well, you're not going to be offered that too many times, and he's just swept it past the keeper. And everything changes in an instant for Nuno Espirito Santo and his side that have been in indifferent form in the Saudi Pro League. And what I can tell you about what I've been informed about in the powers that be in the Saudi Pro League is that whilst they offer financial remuneration which some people can only dream of, they are also on very big performance-related clauses. So I should imagine that uh, Al Itihad's management will be coming under some pretty intense micromanagement at the moment with their form in the Saudi Pro League and indeed should they should they fail to get out of the group stage they are top of the moment but they have only played two of three games they were awarded the third and today's performance whether beset by injuries 
It's been one of a very nervous side. And now they are, as we move into the three minutes at the end of the first period, behind Al Etihad, who have shown more endeavour and desire in the first half of this game. And there was just a telling moment as we had a cutaway to Karim Benzema putting the ball on the centre spot. We just felt has he got the belief in the rest of his team to help them achieve what they need to achieve. Interesting. Body language is always lovely. Lovely step over again, near side. Bayesh causing quite a few problems on this near side for Bamasud. Remember, it was in the fourth minute of stoppage time in the previous game two weeks ago that Al Iti had won at home against Air Force. So they will have uh, pretty much known what each other can do. Kofi lays it back, lifted over the top. Goal scorer Ali Jassim just uh, shows a little too much physicality. Well, that smile tells you everything. I've scored a goal and I can't believe I've just pushed a six foot two man over with the hottest breath on the back of his neck I've ever seen. But this is the want of professional footballers now. Any contact have to almost accentuate to make sure that the decision is there. Marinho, no options on the ball at all there. The kick has been given for a, a coming together, but the referee again has marshaled this pretty well in the first half, just made sure he's been there to just quell any upsurge of uh, dissent in any way, shape or form. Drilled long towards the penalty area. Nice safe hands by Mohamed Hamid. And the half-time whistle goes from our referee, Ahmed Abu Bakr al Kaf of Oman. Just the one goal, and it came in that horrible period just before the break. But it was, in fairness, the site with a better desire in the first half. Air Force of Iraq who had got it. Ali Jassim turning in the cross from Mohammed Abdul Rahim into the back of the net. It's been a nervous, it's been a very, very undesirable performance, lack of confidence from Al Etihad, but take nothing away from Air Force. They've wanted it more as we go into the break here at the Franco Herrera Stadium in Erbil. Nuno Espirito Santo side have got a lot to look for. Half time. Air Force Club 1, Al Etihad 0.
Well, hello and welcome back to this AFC Champions League Group C game on match day four between Air Force of Iraq and Al Ittihad of Saudi Arabia. And what a first half we indeed enjoyed. It was a little bit of a scrap in the middle and it was a little bit down to desire and making it happen. But uh, the prowess on show for Al Ittihad was certainly dented by a complete lack of confidence in their own play, it appeared, from the touchlines. They do have the likes of Karim Benzema, N'Golo Kante, Harun Kamara, uh, Romarinho, Jota. They have a fair blanket of players out there that you felt would have a bit of the locker to face the Iraqi side Air Force, but it's Air Force that have been predominantly the better side if maybe a little woeful in uh, keeping possession of the football in the final third, which left to quite a scrap in the middle of the park. But that all turned on its head just before the break. 44 minutes and Ali Jassim ended a nice move when the cross came in from Mohamed Abdul Rahim. He swept it past the keeper, Al Mayouf, for 1-0 to the home side. And that changed the whole complexity of the game because now Al Hittihad, who have looked, as I say, a little bit shy of confidence on the football, have got to find something within against a side who are a side, I suppose, to more than a sum of 11 different parts. Let's have a quick look at the two sides in goal for the home side, Hamid, and they have a back four, back three, I should say, of uh, Hamoud Mashan, Bakari Undai, and Ruslan Hanun. And then they have sort of five stretched across the midfield, and that is Ibrahim Bayesh, Kofi, and then they have Mustafa, and then they have Saad Abdelamir and Human Tariq. 
And then on up front, they've got the two in Mohamed Abdul Rahim and Ali Jassim. To the side wearing white, that is Al Ishihad Al Mayup in goal. Left back Bama Sood. And then they have Kadesh and Omar as centre halves and Alian at right back. And then they have a midfield quartet of Jota, Faisal, and Golo Kante and uh, Roma Arino with Harun Kamara and Karim Banzimar at the top of the park. Referee today, let's give him a name check. It's Mr. Abu Bakar Al Kaf. That's the four breaks on this near side for the goal scorer Al Lijesi. Cross comes in by Tarek, headed away by Omar. Assistants are Abu Bakr Al Amri and Rashid Hamid Al Ali Al Gait. And uh, VAR is uh, the man from Qatar, Salman Ahmad Falahi. Well, we are underway, as you can see, and it's uh, here's one for Al Itihad to try and come away with something. Nice challenge on this near side by Ruzan Hanun. Kofi. Umam Tarek. Let's play forward again. Abdul Rahim shall get the throw there. Lian taking the last touch. Some throw there into the corner as well. Ali Jassim pushed it in. Abdul Rahim the target. Kadesh the man left facing the turf. It was. Uh, A little bit of a, an enigmatic first half, quite puzzling. No side really, really making uh, the most of any clear-cut opportunities. But as I said, the word desire was greater from the home side in terms of wanting it more. Though that's a very poor clearance by Ndai. Kamara trying to get outside his man on the near side. Hanun, Ruslan Hanun. Mara, Romarinho, Angolo Conte, Al Olian, Faisal, Al Olian, Angolo Conte. This is better. Chance again. Just shows a little too much. Looks like Hanun was given the chance to make it worth the challenge. Get himself a little bit difficultly dirty and. Uh, Bill Conte tries to make something else as Ruslan Hanoum just ups it away from his 18 yard box. Kadesh will play it all the way back to Al Mayouf. Omar. Golo Conte. Bit of a hook to nothing. Cut her away by it. Ruslan Hanoum, I thought he was just a little bit stronger than his opposite number there, but uh, every. Uh, Judge that Ruslan Hanoum was uh, a little overtly physical in the challenge. Kamara. Angelo Conte. Kamara, bit of space here. First touch was a little heavy. Bakari Hyundai comes across. Actually, see without. Uh, saying how much the top of the turf just slipped away and that back pass there is absolutely put Al Mayouf under a bit of pressure. Whilst we know that the playing surface isn't the best, it's the same for both sides and it's who settles down and who just gets on with it. That's nice footwork there. Angola Conte. Kadesh. Jota, Benzema trying to run in behind Hamoud Marshan. He's done well to put it away on the far side. Faisal. Jota with a flick that's easily picked off. Bayesh. Overlap. Real chance to get the ball in the box here, real chance! Oh, Jassim! Well... He knows that I think he was defeated by the pitch there. 
never really rung true as it came across to him. Popped up off the turf, but uh, another presentable opportunity for the home side. Mantarek with a header, Faisal just lifts it away. Mandai. Mashan. Well, there, there's a degree of not finding a man there, but there's also a degree of keeping it away from his 18 yard box. It's for Al if he had to try and find something in this game now. Kadesh. Benzema comes short. Omar. Alian. Kamara does his business, but uh, started up by Human Tarek and Dai. And back by Mora Romarino. Angola Kante. Remember, there is no uh, Sharahili. Fabinho, Coronado, Andala, and Luis Felipe, names that would normally be associated, not even on the bench for Al Etihad. But the break is on here. Faisal's got to get across, it's turned inside. This could be dangerous here. Real chance. It's in, it's 2 0, it's so easy. Abdul Rahim had a chance to take it from behind him and then finish. You won't find, it's almost slow motion, the way that he's put that into the back of the net, Abdul Ramin. You have to look at how it he had. And just wonder what was happening there. It looks as though Mentally, they are a little bit sort of almost in pieces here. Abdul Rahim, look behind him, takes a touch, bounces up, finishes. You've got Omar skating in front of him like he's in dancing on ice. It didn't look the most dangerous of both. But it's ended up in the right result for the home side Air Force, who take a two-goal lead. And without wishing to sound overly heavy on my damning thoughts of the visitors Al Idihad, that looks almost game over. Injury on the far side, but I think that's could be to pride more than anything else. He is down for a long time, but you know, you don't have to be a body language expert to look at the body language of Al Etihad. It looked as though they had a brittle eggshell confidence when they started this game. But you wonder if they actually believe they can get something out of it here. Yeah, and that's what I said earlier on about the the pitch. When you slip on the pitch, it can be so damning when your leg wants to go the way it shouldn't do. But just Kadesh and Omar slipping under there. But the man on the far side is Mamasud, who's. Uh, Game looks as though it could well be over as he limps away on the far side. Well, those fans won't care one iota about the pitch conditions because it is indeed the same for both. As uh, Sakaria Siraj Forsari comes on. And Al had get themselves back into this game. Romarinho. Well, 
Sawi with his first touch. Just runs into the immovable object of Ibrahim Abayesh. Just asking for a little bit more from the crowd. Sawi lifts it in, but it's too close, and Hamid will eat that all day long. Rather than uh, retaining possession, is launched it long to the goal scorer, Abdul Rahim. Seen first goal scorer to his uh, goal scoring teammate. And back again. All of a sudden, Air Force look as though they can play the football around and try and draw any sting. That if there was any sting, it's been a the threat of a sting without a sting from Ali uh, had today. Kadesh will take this down under pressure. It is a difficult surface, but. You do have to remember that one side that are winning 2-0 will have got on with it, and one side that are trailing 2-0 seem to be looking at every bobble as though it's the demon and the devil himself. Faisal, crossfield ball. And there's the captain, Human Tarek, who literally is just competing, and that's something I feel that there hasn't been enough of from Ali he had in this game. It's only my opinion, but it's what I see, and that's my... My aim is to say what I see. Nicely played, opened his body up really nice there, Sad. Bayesh. It's just uh, about keeping the football, which I have to say in the first half they haven't been too good at. I'm not giving any way into the game, but at least he had. He had seen as though they don't just need the keys to the door, they need the door open for them at the same time, and then they need to be aided inside the door to see if they can find an opening at the moment. They, they just do not look like a side that have utter belief in the, in the system. I suppose I'd have to put that in the same bracket as Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. Players with names, players with ability. When the whole machine goes together, it's not very fluid. Confidence is a, is a major factor in football. And all of a sudden, you're in a bill. You're two goals down. You're not playing well. The pitch is bobbly. You slip in. You've got a few injuries, and it's just not happening for you. Near side, though. Chance again for Air Force. One more really will settle the tie you fancy here. Ali Jassim. Pass back on this near side, uh, Hanu. Kofi just ticking things over, back to Ndai. Kofi, look at the space he's got there. A little over-expansive by Ali Chassim, but he has managed to find Human Tariq. Can he deliver now? Back inside to Ali Chassim. Nicely played, Saad. Bayesh. All of a sudden, Air Force. Looking like Brazil of the 70s here against Ali Etihad. Skill is completely applauded inside the stadium. Tarek plays it long. Arthur Rahim is going to be. Uh, I should have the ball by Omar. He's got it away of an, in a fashion. Al Olian. Ali just seen now. Angulo Conte tries to cut him back. Starts two ways. In the end, he's shown one a little bit too much, and it's Jota that's come from the opposite flank from where he's been patrolling most of the game. And okay, it's good work by Humam Tarek. Kofi. Bayesh. Clipped in, rather easy this time by Al Mayouf, but they are knocking the ball around. There's Benzema to Jota. 
wants to set Kamara away, but Ndaye has read the run and has time to play it back to his keeper, Hamid. What fight we fancy that was in Al he had at the start of the game. Certainly ebbing away with every moment. Great break here. Lovely run by Saad. Can he find a man? He can. Abdul Rahim. Ali Jassim won't get there. Come out to Kofi. Kofi. Can he get a right foot shot off? He can, but it's wide. Well, I'll be honest with you. It is quite, quite. Hamza Al Sahafi is about to come on to replace uh, Hassan Kamara. Corner's taken. Human Tarek. This is it in. It's Benzema that blocks. Bayesh. Face by Jota. Sad. Maybe a little too cute. And in the end, that's going to be allowed to run away. Well, it is going to be Marwan Al Sahafi that's about to come on. Hassan uh, Haroun, I should say, coming out is the man that makes way. Sawi Kadesh. You can only say what you see here, and this is going to be a monumental dip into the reserves of Al Iti had for them to find a little something just to give them the impetus to try and salvage something from this game at the moment. They Looks very low on confidence all the way through, and and Dai with a header down. Benzema, Al Sahafi gets it back to Romarinho. Al Sahafi again, bit of space here. Can he find the cross? Al Sahafi again. Romarinho, lovely bring down. Good tow in by Ndai. Comes out. Al Olian, dispossessed. Again, the break is on. Poor Sari, he's not really done well enough as Bayesh breaks. Abdul Rahim. Bayesh again. It's going to be a deep one. Ali Jassim will bring it down. Air Force again trying to take on their side, but uh, Marwan Al Sahafi is the man that got back from his forward duties to block it all off. You'll hear the phrase in football, coming short to receive the ball for your forwards. Karim Benzema's coming so short, it's almost just outside his own 18-yard box to get involved with the play. Golo Conte. Looking for Benzema. Bakari and Dayu chest it down. Been a little bit too careless with the football at the moment. Jota, and I'm saying that in the form that Air Force have uh, just given the ball away too easy and too cheaply. Faisal, Al Olia, Romarinho, Al Olia. Can he find the ball to Benzema? Benzema really what he did in front of him, you fancy, but it comes back out to Al Sahafi. Can Al Sahafi fashion something? Well, he's hooked it into the side netting, but. Uh, Hamid in red in the goal away to my right will say I'll take that all day long. I suppose if you're going to pose a question, you'll be looking at Air Force now and saying the only side that can lose this game will be you yourselves. You have got to make sure you are confident on the football, 
to keep it away from the danger areas. And this game can be yours. But if you manage to sit back, get deeper, and allow Al Itty had a little sniff, they do have people out there that can hurt you. Kofi offended in the middle of the park. And the first of the uh, cards of the day goes to Al Olia. Somewhat caught me by surprise by Ash with the layoff. It's gone down under a little bit of a clutching and with stuff up, but uh, the referee saw nothing wrong with the challenge. Jota from Mourinho. Desire just cannot see any real heart at the moment from the Saudi Pro League side. Tackles look half hearted at times. Sprays out. That man in your picture there talking to Ali Jassim, the player, is the head coach, Ayob Odesho Baragam, and he will be absolutely over the moon with the performance from his side today. They've gone out there and they said, let's just get on with it. They've taken everything in their stride. Irrespective of any injuries or players missing for Al Itihad, when you have the likes of Angolo Conte, when you have the likes of Karim Benzema, Jota, Romarino on the field to play against you, to be 2 0 up and after 68 minutes not really facing any threat from Al Itihad. you've got to be happy with the performance so far. Anything can change, though, as we well know in football. One slip, one trip, one little fumble of a goal, and the whole complexion can change, as we saw just before the break in the first half when Air Force took the lead through Ali Jassim. The whole picture and complexion of the game changed. Near side, Al Zahafi gets it down. Excellent play again by Fuman Tarek. Ali Jassim can't manage to get the ball away. Bro Marinho, Faisal, Kadesh. For Sawi. Jota. Angelo Conte. Jota carries on his run. Nadia Blue shirts back there to smuggle it away. Faisal aims to pull the trigger. And you can hear, you don't need me to tell you what the crowd thought of that effort. Had a long time to measure it up, maybe too much time. Often here with players that they enjoy being put under pressure when having to make a, an immediate strike and sometimes take a cross on. They had too much time, measured it, never really did anything with it apart from drag his foot over the top of the wall. 70th minute. Will the flag go up? Abdul Rahim. No flag, so uh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I spoke. Just as I spoke. I thought the flag would have gone up maybe a fraction earlier than that, but uh, it went up, so it doesn't matter. It would be nice if there was uh, the chance of interaction to find out what Al Itihad fans have thought of their performance on their side today. Are they as bemused as, say, the commentator is? Air Force fans, well, could be a long part here. Kofi, lovely feet away. He's done very, very well. Wanted to go back to his right-hand side. 
So Harfu gets back, turns away. Angola Conte with a flick inside. Romarinho, Al Olian, Jota, bit of space and time. Karim Benzema playing like an auxiliary left winger. Inside the Horsawi, Benzema. Bakari Undai just plays it off the LED hat player. And there's a close up of a man that's looked in the 71st minute inside the Franco Herreri Stadium as though he's not really enjoying his time in the L it he had 11 for now. Lovely camera footage there. Kofi. Couldn't find Bayesh or Sari. Just again, it's it's almost a castle approach there by Horsawi. Kadesh to Omar, Omar to Al Olian. Romarinho with the turn and slip. Kofi tidies up, and uh, Hanun. Picks a nice pass, and again, out they come again. Bayesh to Marshan. Lovely ball over the top. Abdul Rahim lays it back. He's got time and space. Can't quite believe there's nobody shutting him down. Faisal was just tracking behind. Ali just seen with a crossfield ball. That's a little bit expansive, and it's not going to find Mustafa. Fancy presently that if you are, you know, Spirito Santo, you're possibly going to want to just put this inside a box, inside a locked cupboard, far at the back of your mind, because this is. Uh, fancy this is one of those performances from his side that berating his squad from 1 to 11 isn't going to work. Possibly you might have to go the other way and just try and pick him up. Because somewhere alarmingly along the line here, the confidence is so brittle in the 11 players that are on the field of play at the moment. Faisal finds Aolian. And he's given it straight to the feet of Ali Jassim, who's on his own, driving towards Omar. Ali Jassim holds it up nicely. Can he get forward? He could have finished. He plays it out near the side. Well, I tell you what, head in your hands moment there from Mohaned Abdul Rahim. You may smile, but if this ends up 2 2, Mohaned Abdul Rahim, there may be a few questions posed on that one. Oh my word, it doesn't get better even when you watch it in slow motion, does it? You get the feeling there that as the ball broke to Abdul Rahim, he scored it here, he's actually scored already. And then he's realised, oh my word, I haven't. He's just thinking of his celebration, I think, as the ball rolls to him. But it has been, you know, and I seem to be reiterating it. It's good cut out by Angolo Kante. Benzema, little flick, gets it back. Benzema drives a shot in. Well, it's gone down like a sack of proverbial spuds there, Ruslan Hanoun. Uh, it was outside the penalty area, wherever it um, caught him. But uh, looks like they may have caught him in the sternum. Cramp in the background, so we'll be sapping the right, but uh, maybe not the sternum. Arm was across the body there, that's one thing I can say. Well, 
will the VAR have a little look? Oh, there's got to be a substitution here. And it is uh, going to be Frank Obogo who is about to come on. Yeah, well, Mohamed Abdul Rahim is making a way for Frank Obugo. He may have got the second, Abdul Rahim. When he makes it over to the bench, Ayub, are you sure? Barjam will have that one stored in the memory banks should things not quite go the right way when they get to the end of this match I can't see it being that way I think he's fairly safe for the moment but a uh, commentator's final words are not always the best because there are still some 14 minutes plus time to be added on at the end drilled up to Bayesh Bayesh gets it down it's under pressure here from Osawi Just heard in the back. I think the lady just said 80,500 in the background. Well, that's surprising me. Angolo Conte, Benzema. Good bit of work there, ultimately getting across to get his toe in. There's a degree here of. Um, Some work actually in the end by Ruslan Hanun. Penny for his thoughts right now. Well, I thought Rahim goes. Vuga came on. Vuga will chase that in behind, but the header away by Kadesh. Well, yes, I thought that the substitution had happened moments earlier. I'm not a foreteller or fortune teller. That, that, that literally was uh, how the game was being described by the pick side announcer. Well, Ruslan Hanun gets it back to Hamid, who knocks it long. Al Olian with a header away. And the corner by N'Golo Kante. Al Sahafi has hooked it up in the air. It's Romar Brinio. Zama tries to get away. Chance here for N'Golo Kante. Al Sahafi, Al Olian. Decent ball in. Too long and too strong. For a moment there, Karim Benzema applauds, but. Seeing that ball flash across his face from his right to his left there for Karim Benzema is about the closest he's come to anything resembling a ball towards his vicinity in the 18-yard box of the home side Air Force. It's the 80th minute, just 10 regulation minutes plus time added on. Sawi, Faisal. Good work by Frank. This ball goes back to Omar. And Kadesh slipping in, trying to deal with the ball. And Dai. Romarinho trying to get Al Sahafi away, and Dai's got to deal with this. It does very well, Vakari, and Dai gets it out to Human Tarek. Ruslan Hanun, and Dai. 
I was enjoying it inside the stadium. I maybe wouldn't be quite so comfortable back there <laughs> playing football, but uh, they played it out very nicely. Start down the line by Ash. Does well, tracks the challenge from Kadesh for the throw. I think has been very good in the middle of the park for Air Force. Just done his work and his job by Esh. Marshan down the line. You know, this is... This is very, very nice from Air Force. Just wanted this performance today more than the opposition, who, who seem to have been almost bemoaning everything that's gone wrong for them. We have a phrase, you know, where sometimes sides roll over and say, well, you can tickle my tummy, and, and how it he had at times have been. Just such a pet, if that can be the word, in this game. The confidence has been at a low ebb with patchy and indifferent form coming into today's game. One of the alarming things to say for your commentator, been looking for something to happen and not trying to make things happen. That's a poor clearance by Omar. And it just seems gets dispossessed by N'Golo Conte. Jota. Or Sawi. It's carrying Benzema going on the overlap, and in the end it's wasted. It's cleared, but it's going to be picked up and driven forward again by Al Etihad. Faisal. Al Olian. N'Golo Conte. Comes inside. Lays it back, and the uh, keeper Hamid gets across and gets the ball out of play. Uh, Olian is down. But again, in that challenge, I, I'm not going to take anything away from Al Olian, but Hamid of Air Force was getting there. I'm going to win that ball. He knew he was going to take a little bit of a buffeting and boring with the challenge coming in by Al Olian, who was also going to try and get the ball, but he was going to win it, and win it he did. And that is the simplistic way of looking at this game. Air Force have said, we're going to win this game, and win it they have. Romarinho. Faisal. Angolo Conte. Al Sahafi crosses it in. Oh, first bit of danger. What a save by Hamid. Romarinho with a shot. And there, in a little soup son, is exactly what football can do to you. A half chance. And just a moment where everything could have been turned on its head. But Hamid read the dummy from Jota just in front of him. And took the option to get across. Kofi with the first real slip I've seen him make. What Air Force can't afford to do now is to let their concentration slip late here on in the game. Well, Sahafi gets away from Human Tarek. Bit of composure as well here until that pass. It just seem gives it away. Angolo Conte. Throw has been given for the ball out. Anxiety maybe slipping in after that half chance there for Al Etihad, and, and now Air Force will be thinking. Hang on a minute. Nothing silly now. Kadesh to Omar. 
Faisal. Angolo Conte. Uman Tarek. Ali Jassim. A bit of work ultimately by Ruzan Hanoun, but uh, just fancy Air Force have got to keep their foot on the football for a while now, not give it away, even if it means completing six yard simple tip tap passes. And not by Ash doing a lollipop and nearly putting the ball out of play, but uh, Marshan. Frank Obugo. This is better from Air Force if they're going to just take anything or any threat of a, a swell of the confidence of the opposition. They need to keep that football for as long as they can. Ali Jassim. Hamoud Marshan. Just drifting away. There will be question marks over this performance from Al Itihad. This will throw the division a little bit open now. This will take uh, Air Force on to seven points after four matches. And uh, with games against AGMK and Sefahan to come. Fancy their chances of trying to qualify. And Al Etihad, remember, have had one game awarded to them. So they've only won the two out of their three games. So they stand on nine points and two points clear in the division. Well, Ali Jassim, score of the first goal, being replaced here by Shibab Razak. And uh, my player of the match actually going off, which is uh, Kofi Ahdu, is going to be replaced by Mohamed Kazim Majid. And Tarek goes off as well. Well, final change. Mustafa Wali Fatla comes on. Let's sing out these final few moments for Air Force. Looking at that back fall there, very, very fractured from Al Etihad. Benzema, Romarinho, Angolo Conte, near side Al Olian, back to Angolo Conte. Does well, is he going to have a pop himself? No, it comes out to Al Olian, plays against the body of Mustafa. Bayesh tries to win the ball back, and in the end, it's left to the man on the right side of defence, Ruzla Hanoun, to get it forward. Ibrahim Bayesh, going to have to go on his own here. Being tracked all the way, and in the end, well read by Faisal. Jota. The biggest event that's going to happen in the next few moments of this game is going to be... The amount of time that our referee today, Mr. Abu Bakr al Kaf of Oban, is going to add on at the end of the 90. It has been uh, a game where on a difficult surface for both sides, it's been about who wants it most. And Golan Conte breaks forward. But Slan Hanoun knocks it as far away from his 18 yard box as he possibly can, which is all that his manager at the moment, Ayo Odesho Barkham, will be looking for. Those fans in fine voice. And they have witnessed today a side that have just wanted it. Their side that have just wanted it. At times, not pretty. But that comes down to statistics in football. And currently, the one statistic that matters is it's Air Force 2, Al Hitti had nil. Jota with the ball in. 
big header away by a Bogo. Villa Conte back to Faisal. Al Olian. Got six minutes to play now. Mustafa gets his head on it. Spoke to a manager recently and said, uh, I thought you'd have shut up shop at about five minutes ago. He said, I normally would. Selfie, he said, but the amount of time that's being added on the last five minutes could be the last 20. He said, nowadays, with the amount of time that's being added on, so it's difficult to say shut, shut up shop at the right time. Pies up, caught late there by Bayesh. Did you escape a little bit of a yellow card, one feels. It's just a straightforward uh, kick, I call that. Header from Jota's going to go harmlessly wide up Hammy to right post. He'll take his time with his goal kick. For some people, and people involved in the club of Al Ittihad, whether they be emotionally supportive, this has been a, a disturbing performance, I would say, from them. Some might say they watch him every week. Now it's been coming for a long time. Good work by Bayesh to get it down, but it's it's lacked an awful lot of confidence. This side, it's a side that have. Uh, Spent no shortage of money, although some of the players, Fabinho not playing today, Luis Felipe not playing today. Some of their regular players not available. Very, very short substitutes spent. Andoglo Conte, Jota, Borsawi does well to get inside, but again tracking and the covering. Angolo Conte, Faisal, tenacious work here by. Ruslan Hanoun, and in the end, Air Force come away with it. Angolo Conte gets himself a card. Perpetual motion for Leicester City and Chelsea. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock his performance. I think today Angolo Conte has tried. He's been. A little bit wayward with some of his passing, but it's not the strongest part of his skill set. But he must well have looked at this and thought himself, you know, players ultimately sit inside the change rooms afterwards and say, have to ask themselves one question, have I done my best? Well, Sahafi goes forward, Mustafa, and then Ruslan Hanoun clear the ball up. Faisal with the header. Time and space here for a start. Support uh, Frank Abu. Halfway through, the minimum of three minutes to be added on. Gulo Conte. Romarinho. Al Sahafi. Gulo Conte. Olian. Karim Benzema coming short again, well outside the penalty area. And that will just be left to roll and wobble its way over the dead ball line. For that man, Real Madrid seems a million miles away. Vinicius Junior, Modric, and all the players that he played alongside. a dispirited looking alley he had at the moment. Mustafa. Ruslan Hanoun. And Dai. Saad Altalamir. Puts the ball away. Faisal cuts it out. Romarinho. Over that comes from Borsawi. Been a lackluster effort from the Saudi pro side. Jota, Kadesh to Omar. Gulo Conte.
It's so easy for their force to take command of the situation. The players will look at themselves and say, did I do my best? You know, some players will think they've given it, put a shift in, but collectively as a unit, it's been, um, in your humble commentator's opinion, a very lacklustre performance from, or indifferent performance from Al Itihad. And it's been a performance from Air Force who've, who've looked at this and said, we work, we work, we work, we want it, we'll get it, and they have done. Approach the end of the final, of the minimum of six to be added on here. Jota slips it in behind Benzema with a first chance of a ball at his feet, tries to tiptoe through two. Held up, though, by a wall of royal blue. And in the end, it goes out of play, and that dismal end to that attack rather sums up a disappointing performance from the side out it he had they look a troubled outfit presently and our referee says that that is enough the goal for that man's side just before the break, that settled the nerves of a side that have beaten Al Itihad by two goals to nil. Ali Jassim, the overlapping run, fed on 43 to Mohamed Abdul Rahim, who crossed. And Ali Jassim fired it in just on the 44th minute of the first half. It was a telling blow in a first half where. The home side Air Force wanted it, but weren't making the most of uh, possession, giving it away a little sloppily, but it was a lacklustre, indifferent performance from Al Etihad. They went in a goal down and they looked completely mentally in pieces. They came out in the second half and fell behind when Mohanid Abdul Rahim made it two on the night. And it was all about two things, a lacklustre, indifferent display from Al Etihad and a side from Air Force in Iraq that wanted it. They wanted to win, they worked at it, they got the goals, and in the end, they looked like a top-of-the-table side playing a relegation-haunted side. They were that much in command. But it's finished here inside the... Franco Hariri Stadium here in Erbil and Group C, match day four, Air Force two, Al Itihad nil, and thoroughly deserved by Air Force as well. We hope you've enjoyed our commentary, we hope you've enjoyed our production, and wherever you are, the party may well start for the Air Force side. Ali Jassim. And Mohamed Abdul Rahim with the goals as Air Force have beaten Al Etihad by two goals to nil. <laughs>